I'm Bill Monroe. The Prescott Fair on the Square wrapped up on Labor Day. This event took place at the downtown courthouse plaza and featured more than 150 artisans and crafters. The music group in Folkus also performed. The Humboldt Unified School District Board received a B-Bond Projects update Tuesday night. Finance Director Cynthia Windham told the board the combined budget capacity is more than $71,000. Also on Tuesday night, the Prescott Unified School District Board discussed a policy change. A new law was signed last summer that prohibits districts from adopting policies that use seniority to retain RIF staff members. District Legal Representation is recommending adoption of an Arizona School Board's Association policy on September 14th. The Presque Valley Town Council approved an amendment to the final development plan for Yavapai Regional Medical Center's East Campus. The plan was originally approved in 2004 and the amendment will allow for future expansions. Included in the expansion plan is a 6,500 square foot breast care center and a groundbreaking has been scheduled for October. Prescott Meals on Wheels served us spaghetti and meatballs as part of a benefit dinner that was held in their East Rosser Street dining room on Friday night. Due to the Labor Day holiday, the Yavapai County Board of Supervisors did not meet on Monday. During a meeting in Prescott on Tuesday, the board took no action on a proposal from Otwell Architects for design services for the Gurley Street building site. The proposal included two parking decks and an enclosure for a holding and booking area for the sheriff. The Prescott City Council held a workshop Tuesday afternoon. Council gave Public Works the go-ahead to move forward with the process to increase water and wastewater rates. The increased rates are being proposed in order to fund capital improvement programs in fiscal years 2011 through 2016. The Dewey Humboldt Town Council discussed the Environmental Protection Agency's reuse plan for the Iron King Mine and Humboldt Smelter sites Tuesday night. The site has become contaminated due to historic mining practices, ore processing, disposal practices, and closing procedures. And at the end of a Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce meeting Wednesday afternoon, Chamber Board President Charlie Arnold announced he would be stepping down at the end of this month. Arnold indicated this decision stems from a referendum that could be before voters next March to overturn a council vote to rezone property for a KOA campground at Row 3 North and Highway 89. I'm Bill Monroe and that's your KQNA News Week in Review.